been really fun to be able to like push myself to sure, kind sure. of a new level with the stunts and stuff. Between explosions, multi-level crashes, and intricate set designs, Spider-Man No Way Home has it all. We're peeling back the curtain to bring you the onset world of your friendly neighborhood Spidey. Let's jump in. The real magic comes from the electrical department. There's no shortage of CGI in this scene. But we are quite impressed with the practical effects. Strange's witch pot is levitating if you weren't paying attention. With the use of a blue rig, they made easy work of this shot. And did you notice the rotating lights on the floor surrounding Cumberbatch while he casts the spell? There's also one completely real puddle of water they're standing in. Here's hoping their shoes are waterproof, or that would make for a very uncomfortable day on set. It's really exciting, and the film's shaping up to be something special. Alfred Molina was tossing those cars like they were Hot Wheels. This bit where the car smashes into the wall actually looks so crazy. They built an elevated road just for this scene. When the car starts falling to its doom with the MIT assistant vice chancellor inside, one gigantic rig was used to tip the whole thing. Although we don't imagine Paula Newsom was inside at this point. And how about this car that's literally folding in on itself? Or the moment where Peter is ripping the door off the car? It's definitely not brute strength that tears it off. More than likely, it's mechanics. Even behind the scenes, we're wondering, how did he do that safely? Every stunt that we did in that film is practical. You know, there are, there are digital elements to it, but you know, we were doing it for real. Cinema, the one place explosions are generally a good thing. We've never felt so alive watching a fight take place before. Marvel did a truly fantastic job of keeping this sequence gripping from the beginning to the end. And one part that was absolutely terrifying was this explosion all done by pyrotechnics on their fancy schmancy road. Talk about an introduction. It gives you an endless amount of possibilities to what we yeah. can create. And you know, we really did leave no stone unturned. Between a dark arc and a hard place. Up against a blue screen with no tentacles to be seen since they're CGI, and no Spider-Man suit in sight due to the fact it's a nanotech heavy moment, this shot looks less than intimidating. Hopefully it only took them one take, or they had spare cement mimicking pillars around. I didn't want to just kind of come back and replicate what we'd done before. It, it was important to me to arrive as if this was the first time. One high school sounds bad enough, let alone two. While the interior of the high school is shot at Frederick Douglass in Atlanta, the exterior is done at Franklin K. Lane Educational Campus in Brooklyn, New York. What's kind of cool is that due to the pandemic, no other movies were allowed to shoot in these locations. Spider-Man got special permission since they'd already filmed Far From Home shots there. There's roughly a hundred extras in this scene, but the magic of cinema made the crowd feel a whole lot larger. At its thickest, the crowd only gets like four layers deep. It's been incredibly special. They destroyed the Tower Bridge last time. Only the top part of the skull of the Statue of Liberty is real. Come on, did you really expect them to get the rights to film on the Statue of Liberty's head? Part of us is relieved to see that gigantic shield drop. As much as we love Captain America, it just felt like they defaced the Statue of Liberty in the process. Besides, the shield made for one of the coolest locations in the movie. But yeah, I mean, I thought it was the coolest thing. And also like, I guess, you know, visual effects. I'm just crashing through. This bit where Peter is crashing through the floors is actually quite impressive. Other than a blue screen backdrop and soft blue mat, all of this is actually happening. He actually crashed through three floors, no CGI. Do you think he fell through three floors at once, or do you think they filmed this stunt floor by floor? You're gonna have your stunt double be doing that. And I'm like, nope, no, no, no. Atlanta wants to be a part of it. New York. The Sanctorum was rebuilt from scratch for No Way Home in Atlanta, both its interior and exterior, but we'll get to the interior in just a sec. Only the first floor of the Sanctorum exterior set was even built. Above that, it had to be created with CGI. Despite it being filmed in Atlanta, it still had roots in New York though. The team scrounged for a lot of their set pieces, like the lights and fire hydrants, from a prop shop in the Big Apple. You won't know that it's not in New York when you see it. It was pretty typical, a typical process. It just was on a much grander scale. Does the snowy storm symbolize the chaos in Doctor Strange's heart? From the frost on the walls to the shovelable snow being scooped up, quite a few layers of different kinds of fake snow were needed in this scene. 
and they also kept out the best part from the trailer. The reason why the snow is even inside to begin with. Is it an unanswerable, mystical wizard thing? Nope, purely a mistake. There's been a change of management at the Sanctorum, and director John Watts wanted that reflected through the chaos. Full credit to the set designers and all the crew that just made it look incredible. By the way, did Steven seem a bit off to you? Recklessly endangering the lives of everyone without taking a moment to consider maybe talking out any technicalities? Or how about how quick he is to willingly let a bunch of villains die? That doesn't sound like the attitude of a hero. You want to make sure that the action scenes are driven by character. Number 10. An ancient basement beneath the Vatican in Rome served as the inspiration for the dungeon in the Sanctorum. The team worked for weeks to get the look of the stone just right. The quality of the set, the paintwork, the effects, just puts you right back on your game. And by the way, the villains were actually trapped behind plexiglass. The magic didn't come in until later. Plexiglass would have made for a much easier escape. And while we're on the topic of the new rooms in the Sanctum Sanctorum, it's a prime opportunity to mention the basement, which had some cool little details carved into the beams. Did you spot them? There's magic symbols all over them, as well as insignia carved into a floor paving stone. It looks great. Oh. Well, it's bowing a little bit now. Uh -huh. This shot came straight out of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Imagine if it just snowed in teeny tiny pockets instead of great big flurries, like this shot from No Way Home. Our hearts were melted by this scene, as fast as the fake snow melted. Wait, that depends if they used paper or foam. Number 12. MJ is not a huge fan of the swinging. The real jump between Peter and MJ was done from a giant rig off a blue screen platform. Always interesting for those two to land because of their slight height difference. But props to actors Tom Holland and Zendaya for fighting back against the stereotype that men need to be taller than their girlfriends. Can we please put MJ in heels? I then have to like make I myself yeah. like be like, ah, which wouldn't naturally be what I do. Do you know the secrets of a true leader? Specificity is not only what made No Way Home great, but the preceding MCU Spider-Man movies as well. Big budget directors don't ignore the little details, they embrace them. Zendaya admitted that John Watts chose every single book of MJ's intentionally. Even the books that are in the background of right. shots or in a stack, they're all intentional. And very carefully decided which titles he wanted seen. The scale of what they have is not to be underestimated. As it turns out, the devil is in the details when it comes to MCU movies. And we don't just mean with the Easter eggs. It takes an army of artists and a whole lot of money to make these sets look good. What detail in No Way Home surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.